Yeah, I spent I spend years just just fighting rust, you know. Basically, most of the time brushing, I use all kinds of power. You know, use steel brushes, small big ones. I have uh, if you can see this, uh, all kinds of power tools. You can you can see this is all worn out from me getting the rust on using four inch grinder and uh, use these kind of wheels I've used in the past uh, you can see this is all been used quite quite often you know this was a great I think it was from you can see it's a good example you can see all the rust inside see that's basically me me uh, trying to remove the rust from places uh, so over years I've been I've been grinding and and trying to remove most of the rust with the wire wheels and then sandpaper then use different I had so many different primers and paints and stuff and it just uh, it's a losing battle you can't win you can't win with rust you make everything you clean everything as clean as it can be you prime it you paint it a year later you start seeing one spot and then the second spot and third spot and three years later it's all just just plain rust it's just uh... it's frustrating but never with this wax stuff this stuff and and no i have not been using this thing for years but i see all i see is is i buy old junkers oh i had so many old junkers and stuff because i like i like cars from the eighties i like this I like this type of cars. I mean, only I would say only about five percent of people that bought these cars had them sprayed with Z Bart, which is the waxy thing. And this car was actually sprayed with Z Bart, which is great. But ninety-five percent of the cars from the '80s were never sprayed with Z Bart, and those are the ones that I, when I go see them, and I've seen hundreds of them. They're just they're so corroded. The frames underneath are just all holes. Actually, I've seen somewhere the bumper, you, you push on a bumper and a whole bumper falls off, falls down because there's nothing supporting it. You know, that's what I see. And I uh, this is fun. I'm, I'm going to see one tomorrow, not a uh, old Chevy like this. And uh, so that's what I do for fun. And and all I see is just rusted cars, unless they were sprayed with Z-Bart. And I don't, I don't recommend Z-Bart anymore. I think Z-Bart today... Is not the same Z Bart that was in the eighties. And I don't want people to think I'm pushing Z Bart because let me tell you something about Z Bart. Z Bart used to be a great company that used to spray this stuff on cars, this waxy stuff, that made cars last forever. The problem with that is it only needed one application. Once they sprayed it on, it was good for twenty five years. And it would keep the car protected. Well this was bad for business. Of course, they want you to come back every year to have it sprayed to keep the rust away. So they came up with this new solution, spray solution, that it's very, it's almost like an engine oil that they spray on and you look underneath and the frame looks nice and oily and stuff, but a year later it's all gone. Of course, that's what they want. It's just like people making light bulbs. They want this light bulb to burn down, burn out, because... Uh, Otherwise, it would be bad for business, and that's what that was the problem with Z-Bart. They would spray these cars, and they would be great. All they need is one application when they were new, and and they were protected for 50 years, and that's basically what killed their business. So now, I would not recommend anybody going to Z-Bart because it's not the same stuff. This is the stuff that Z-Bart used to use. It's the waxy, sticky stuff that stayed on the vehicle. You couldn't wash it away. You could drive it through salty winners and and live near the ocean it didn't matter this stuff just stuck on and kept the rust off but uh, it was basically it was too good it was too good they had to change it they had to make a new formula so they could tell people it needs to be sprayed every year to make money so so again yeah dollar um, thirty four you buy five of these and one bottle of that fourteen dollars total and you can you can do probably two vehicles with this stuff because this is only two rings in here two rings and about that much oil if I did five this pot would be completely filled to the top actually wouldn't fit in this pot so you can just imagine how much goo you have 
and this thing spreads pretty easy so you can probably do maybe three vehicles with uh, with fourteen dollars uh, and <laughs> and this and this stuff will last you twenty years you know it, it, you you saw the video I did when I washed this off this was twenty five years was caked on this frame and then and of course all the dirt and everything else and salt stuck to the wax and then created nice thick uh, a barrier and for 25 years it protected this frame and this frame is spotless the whole frame any place I'll, I'll rub it and it's just a beautiful clean metal underneath all because it was protected with wax simple wax nothing beats simple wax simple and this is not this is not like a candle wax. Candle wax gets hard and it'll just flake off. This stuff is, I don't know what it has. I don't have a chemical. I'm an engineer, but I'm not a chemical engineer. And uh, so I don't know exactly what additive is in there to keep this wax soft like that for years. So today you got all these fancy products. You got uh, Pore 15, you got Eastwood makes this uh, rust uh, encapsulator. Then you have. Uh, you have Loctite makes this uh, extend. All these products are supposed to be able to go right over rust and prevent from any rust forming and, and, and basically create a barrier. And, and and boy, I've tried them all. I've tried I've tried them all on old vehicles and they just do not work. They they only work in a perfect condition when you have nice metal that has light rust and it has no grease it it doesn't have any clean metal and it doesn't have any big flaky metal i mean any big flaky rust it just has to be just light rust so if it's flaky you have to brush it off but if you brush it off then you expose new metal that basically the those products don't stick to it for example pore 15 you can put it on a on a nice clean metal and at first it sticks but then a few months later it just comes right off but where the metal was lightly rusted, it actually sticks for a long, long time. But if you have a frame that it's rusted and it's in front of the car, that's got all the fluids on splashing oils and grease and stuff, that frame is going to be just completely greasy. And now you have that thick rust that absorbed all that grease. You will never be able to clean that grease off. I don't care what kind of chemicals you use, you'll never get that off because it's just so deep penetrated the grease penetrated at rust which actually keeps the car from rusting even more and and these new products like pore 15 and the product from Eastwood and Loctite they will never stick to that stuff beauty about this wax it doesn't matter if your frame is dirty if it's rusty if it's got salt on it it doesn't matter just brush most of the mud off and and the big flaky rust and you can apply this thing you know leave the frame rusted leave it all greasy doesn't matter and just put this thing right over it and actually when the frame is greasy this thing sticks even more because it's just uh, this thing bonds with any kind of grease and oils so you, you can't go wrong with this thing you, you know you strip the frame down and you go through all this work and try to clean it the best and you pour fi you put pour 15 and it's got that nice glossy it's almost like ceramic look and people love that this doesn't gonna this is not gonna look the best. I mean right now this looks natural wax color, so it looks like poop on the frame. So anyways, uh, YouTube guys, uh give it a try. Yeah. Fifteen bucks for five of these and a whole bottle of this and we'll get you two, three cars protected. And and trust me, you'll never have to do it again. And it, it'll keep that rust away, so so have fun and, and let me know how it works out for you. Alright, thanks.